So first you want to, hold on, close this. You're going to go into your search bar and type in REG and what will come up is registry editor. Run it as your administrator and then you're going to go into the local machine. Click the little arrow there for software and then Microsoft and then you're going to want to scroll down a little bit to oh actually if yeah you're going to have to scroll down a little bit to go to the Windows drop down menu and then you're going to click on or was looking for and then you're going to go down a little bit and go into policies and then click on system you don't need to click the arrow or anything and then what you want to do is go click on enable LUA and I already have it set to this because I already went through this and uh, changed it all for it to work so usually it says under value data it will say one but you want to change that to zero and then click OK and then usually it'll tell you to restart your computer sometimes it doesn't but what you want to do is you want to restart your computer so then after that to make sure it actually does work, um, when you, if you have the disks inserted, you'll want to go to, um, so right now I have the expansion pack in it, but what you can do is right click on it, click on file insight, and it will bring you into your um, whatever software you have for security, and make sure it's trusted, so I have it trusted already, and then um, what I found that it wouldn't do, it came up and it would run it and come up with what language I wanted to choose to install it, but then it still didn't work. It had another error after I pressed the next button. So what I did was I took everything and then I copied it and then I pasted it into my documents and I called it EA Games. Well, I think it did that automatically, but I put everything in here. Um, or it's not there. Hold on. I call it Sims 2. There we go. And then I put everything in here. And then once I ran it, it ran the application just fine. Um, so when you install the base game, just the Sims 2, you're going to want to do the same thing and make sure that it's trusted. As well as um, clicking on the auto run and going into properties. And then you're going to go to your compatibility settings um, and right now it's set to Windows Vista so that one works for me um, also the Windows 98 should work as well but for some reason it works for me on Windows Vista so we'll leave it as that and then you want to make sure it's the 8-bit 256 color um, and then you also want to make sure it's running your program as an administrator so that it actually works and then you press apply and then OK and then you're good to go and it should work and then I have it right here and it works.